147 life insurance policies so far sold in three freaking days. I've said this and I'll say it again, the average life insurance agent in the United States sells an average of 150 in a year that does it full time. When I'm in this mode, I have complete, it's not disrespect, but I'll just call it a lack of respect for people's unwillingness to work. I think we live in a society now where people have realized that they say they don't want these things because they've come to the realization that they're never going to be willing to put in the work. And so it's this playing small, like settling mentality that now is not only the standard, it's but it's being rewarded. Where you, whether you call this like minimalist movement or like tiny houses, I assure you, people from 100 years ago, it's ridiculous. <laughs> that people are living in like closet sized homes because they really, really want to. You don't really, really want to go to your bed like this and like, like live in a dollhouse. Like it's ridiculous. But it's literally people that have settled and said, I'm never going to make that much money. I'm never going to be able to have those things. So let me somehow convince myself that this is actually what I want. By hustling, it is proving with your actions that, hey, there's nothing special about me. I just put in an insane amount of work every single day to be able to provide the lifestyle that I want to live for my family, to be able to provide the things that I want my family to have, to be able to do the things that my family and I want to do. Because in my opinion, for someone to sit back and not hustle, but still want those things, or still even be able to have those things, that is the opposite of humility. That's sitting back and they're like, Hey, I got this. I don't need to do, I don't need to put all that work in. I don't need to go out and just grind it out day in and day out, 18 plus hour days. Like I don't have to be, I don't have to do those things to have what I want to have. I would tell you that hustle says I not only want to do those things, but I enjoy doing those things because it allows me to know that I earned it. I think that our society, the majority, have just come to the realization that they're just not willing to put in the work required to have these things. And so knowing that they're not willing to put in that work, they have wrapped this security blanket around it of the idea that they don't want it or that they don't need it or that they wouldn't enjoy it or like it because that makes them feel better about living their life of mediocrity. And, you know, as I think about that, I, it makes me sad it, at first because that's not what we were created for. As humans, we were not put on this earth to live mediocre lives. We were not put on this earth to settle for anything less than extraordinary because inside each and every one of us is the potential for greatness is the potential for extraordinary. I truly believe that uh, it looks different for every single person as far as where it comes from, as far as what it looks like, as far as where in life it ultimately is realized. But inside of every single one of us, we were born to do something extraordinary. And when you do something extraordinary, you're able to have things that are extraordinary. You're able to live an extraordinary life. And so it's sad when, when we find people that have the capability, that have the potential, but that have chosen not to pursue it because of the work required, just because as I just said, you were born with greatness in you, that you were born with the ability to be extraordinary, to have extraordinary things, to do extraordinary things, doesn't mean it's gonna be easy just because it was born into you. It's still gonna take tremendous amounts of work. <laughs>